We're going to continue looking at prayers of the past, prayers of people we might recognise for the rest of this week before going back to a biblical book next week. Now, yesterday's prayer was Desmond Tutu and I didn't really think he needed much of an introduction, but today's prayer comes from Leslie Weatherhead. Leslie Weatherhead was born in 1893 and died in 1976. He was an author and theologian, particularly interested in the connection between psychology and religion. He was an army chaplain in Mesopotamia and Madras and became president of the Methodist Conference twice. He was said to be so interested in the link between psychology and religion that he said this, he was convinced that much physical and mental illness was connected to the loss of true religion. He wrote more than 30 books. Some were controversial, such as The Life of the Christian Agnostic. If you're interested, I'll leave you to go and look him up. Here is his Christian prayer. Help me not merely to enjoy reading beautiful words and call it praying. Make me utterly sincere, not using false exaggeration to show myself in a more favourable light at another's cost. Help me to watch for that negativism that spreads depression and imprisons me in weakness. Help me today to rejoice in goodness, beauty and truth, to forget myself and gratefully look to thee and serve others. Help me to smile, to speak lovingly and cheerfully, trusting when I feel beaten and acting serenely when all is tempest within. Master, casting out devils in Galilee was small compared with your task in me when anger and self-pity are roused. Come, bring thy peace. Amen. I don't know about you, but when I was a new Christian, a young Christian, and I went to prayer meetings, there were times when I was struck dumb when I heard people praying amazing, eloquent, elaborate prayers. And I felt like I hardly knew how to speak. Little did I know then that, well, I don't know that a professional prayer is a true sense of who I am, but you know what I mean. But it was his connection between psychology and religion that interested me, especially in this time, in this pandemic. The idea that there's a link between mental illness and a lack of true religion is it's too simplistic and I wouldn't want to over stress the causes of mental illness but how privileged we are as Christians and we know that Christians are not protected from mental illness and many Christians suffer with anxiety and depression but how fortunate we are to always have someone to go to to know that we are valued, that we have worth in God's sight, that he has gifted us and that even in our struggles, Jesus is there, the Holy Spirit is there, God is there. What a difference it makes to know we are never alone, no matter how alone we might feel. And then right in the middle, there were those sentences that say, Help me to smile, to speak lovingly and cheerfully, trusting when I feel beaten and acting serenely when all 
is tempest within. Take a look at that prayer. Maybe copy it down, like I've said. Meditate on the thoughts and not just the words, not just speaking the words, as he said. If ever there was a prayer that can lift us and give us purpose and help us to appreciate the difference faith makes, I think this prayer is a good one to remember. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.